बन जा What you're hearing is a composition in Niraga Kalyani and Adi Tadam. This is a compositional type called Varnam. Varnam is one of the uh, earliest kinds of composition that a beginner learns. Over the past few weeks, we have looked into various aspects of Raga and Tala. And these uh, are indeed the underlying principles, the grid as it were, on which Carnatic music is mounted. But we are now ready to enter into the world of Carnatic music as actually presented, as practiced, as heard. And what we hear in Carnatic music is um, broadly divided into Kalpita Sangeetam and Kalpana Sangeetam. Kalpita Sangeetam is the corpus of compositions composed uh, pieces that we hear in Carnatic music. Kalpana Sangeetam is the improvisational aspect of Carnatic music. As we will see later, there are four or five such aspects of improvisation. We will take a look at compositions in the next few weeks. <coughs> So when we talk of composition, uh, a composition is very simply something that is composed, which has something that has uh, a few elements that are brought together in a certain way. We can talk of composing a poem or we can talk of composing um, an essay or a photograph, a photograph is also composed. Now, when we talk of a musical composition in the context of Carnatic music, the, uh, it, it almost invariably there is a, a textual aspect to it. So, we have words, we can have very often they are meaningful words in languages such as Telugu. Telugu is the uh, preeminent language of co com compositions in Carnatic music. We have many, many compositions in Telugu. We have compositions in Tamil, in Sanskrit, and of to a lesser degree in Kannada and to a much lesser degree in Malayalam. We could even have compositions that uh, combine two or three languages, and these are called Manipravalam. Some compositions also have meaningless syllables, syllables that are used in dance and in percussion, they, ha they carry no meaning, but they are syllables, they are uttered. We will take a look at these compositions later. And in many compositions, we also have the presence of swaras. Swaras, swara patterns that are actually composed, pre-composed and they are part of the composition. Now, varnam, the varnam you just heard in Kalyani, you would have made out that there is clearly a, a textual part to it with words in Telugu and there is also the Swara portion in it. Compositions or Kalpita Sangeetam in Carnatic music is broadly divided into uh, Abhyasaganam, that is compositions that are specifically meant for pedagogy, for teaching. 
there is a very uh, meticulously laid out system of teaching uh, Carnatic music for at least uh, six months to one year there is a set of exercises that is prescribed. Um, these are practice exercises certainly, but they are also exercises to impart uh, uh, a knowledge of the music. So, we have very simple swara patterns aroha varoha and then more complex patterns steadily increasing in complexity. Then, then we have simple songs what are called Geetams. Sari Gama Padani Sa Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Ga Re Sa Sari 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 Gama Sari Gama Padani Sa Sa Ni Sa Ni Sa Ni Da Pa Sa Ni Da Pa Ma Ga Sari ga sari ga sari sari ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da sa ni da sa ni sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa sari ga sari ga sari sari ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da sa ni da sa ni sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa Shri ga na na ta Sindhu ra varna Karuna sagara Kari vadana Lambodara lakomi kara Basuta amara vinuta Lambodara lakomi kara And at the end of this uh, course of Abhyasa Ganam or practice music, we have Varnam. It is a, as a compositional piece. Varna Jakshiro Sari 
Sani da pa ma ga ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni sa ri sa ni da ni sa ni da pa ma ga ma pa da pa ni da da ni sa ri ni ga ga ma da ni sa ni sa ri sa ni da sa ni da pa ni da pa ma ga ma pa da ni lu pa ra ni moha ma ni lu pa ra ni. And interestingly, Varnam has a presence in the other kind of composition also, which is called Sabhagana. So, compositions in music, in Carnatic music, belong to either Abhyasaganam or Sabhaganam. Sabhaganam being the repertoire that is presented in concerts. Varnam belongs to both these categories. Varnam is also a very important and vital aspect of Abhyasaganam or pedagogical music, practice music, as well as it is a piece that is that can very well be presented in a concert. So Varnam really straddles both these worlds. We will take a detailed look at Varnam in the next couple sessions.